From the front page of the Yonker Statesman, August 15th, 1916. Headline, City Schools Reopen October 2nd. Charles K. Gorton, Superintendent of Schools, made the following announcement today because of the prevalence of infantile paralysis in Yonkers. Quote, Charles Philip Easton, President of the Board of Education, after consultation with Dr. Coons, Health Officer, has issued an order that the Yonkers Public Schools do not open until Monday, October 2nd. They may remain closed until a later date if the conditions of public health render a later opening advisable. Headline, County Isolation Hospital Ready for the Reception of Patients Who Are Suffering from Infantile Paralysis. Two wards at present provide 60 beds, but additional wards will be built at Eastview if necessary. Headline, Infantile Paralysis, One Death and Two More in Yonkers. The first child to be affected in this city discharged from hospital as convalescent. Yesterday afternoon and evening, Dr. Coon's health officer made a visit of inspection to the Willard Parker Hospital in New York City and watched the treatment of cases of the disease there. His observations inclined him to the belief that the mode of treating the disease in Yonkers was the correct one, except that in cases hereafter, the paralyzed limb of the patient will be put immediately into a cast. The doctor said that the physicians at the hospital had not yet arrived at a definite conclusion as to the true value of the serum now being used. When that has definitely been determined, the serum will be used in cases in Yonkers. Headline, Germans trying to repel Russians. French resume offensive in Verdun and capture trenches. Emperor William is again on the Eastern Front, where the armies are struggling desperately to repel the Russians. The opposing forces apparently are at a standstill, but in Galicia, General Brusilov is advancing rapidly. Petrograd reports the Russians are crossing to the western bank of the Zelota Lipa River, and the Austrian positions are not expected to hold long. The British War Office reports the clearing of the Germans from nearly all the trenches northwest of Poissiers. And the French resumed the offensive in the Verdun region and, according to Paris, captured German trenches in Vaux and Fleury, a sector of a depth of 100 yards along a 300-yard front. Rome announces in advance of the Italians on the road to Trieste. And that's the news from Yonkers 100 years ago today.